Velachara offers seniors beautiful apartment living. It's a special secure place to belong, providing choice, freedom and professional care. Each spacious apartment comes with an ensuite, veranda, security and on-call nurses. Entertain your guests in the elegantly appointed shared spaces. Our vibrant activities program will keep your mind and body active. Bella Chara welcomes new residents. Call us today on 52025300 for a personal tour. Good evening and welcome to News Geelong on this first day of February 2013. Australia Day 2013 was another outstanding success across the Geelong waterfront and Rippleside Park with thousands of Geelong citizens and visitors participating in many and varied activities. Tomorrow we'll see two diverse activities take place in and around Geelong with Wetlands Day on the outside and the Great Aussie Beer Festival on the inside. From the world of sport we'll highlight the events from Avalon Speedway, Basketball, Norm Acton's Memorial Bowls Day at Eastern Park, local cricket and an interview with the chairman of the newly structured Barwon AFL Regional Commission. And from the weather world a look at what lies ahead in Geelong and the surf coast over the next six days. Becoming an Australian citizen is an ultimate step for members of our community who have made significant steps forward in making probably the biggest decision in their lives to make Geelong, Australia, their new home. Merrill Friend reports. It's Australia Day down here on the waterfront. The festival of sails are going on with hundreds of boats from all over the world. We've also had the magnificent citizenship ceremony this morning down at the waterfront as well. And now we're down here for a very important event which is actually happening generally every month in Geelong but special this Australia Day, the citizenship ceremony. Yeah, it's always fantastic to be at a citizenship ceremony but particularly on Australia Day and I must admit I've got a soft spot for citizenship ceremonies because that's what my parents did they came here from Greece after the Second World War for a, for a greater opportunity and they uh, became citizens here so I've always got a soft spot and I attend quite a few of them. And there's 35 people becoming Australians here today and it's a wonderful event down here on the waterfront as well with the Festival of Sails. Yeah that's right it's not just that it's Australia Day in the Citizenship Ceremony but you've got the Festival of Sails uh, the largest uh, regatta in the Southern Hemisphere sailing regatta so look it's been going for around 170 years the Festival of Sails so it's a fantastic event because it really showcases the Geelong waterfront, it shows uh, the rest of the state and indeed Australia and the world how, how beautiful Geelong is. And we're joined with two new, or well, three new people that are going to become Australian citizens. I've got Nairav and Needy. And oh, of course, born here. Yeah. Yes. All right. How long have you been here in Geelong? Uh, one and a half year. Yeah. And how long in Australia? Uh, Almost four years, yeah. Four years. What is it about the place that makes you want to be change your nationality to Australian? Oh, actually, I love Australia. I love Geelong, though. And uh, I used to live in Melbourne before, but this is actually a quiet place, and like you have rights to do everything what you want. And apart from that, the life is good, environment is good too. The places are beautiful, so that's the reason. People are lovely. Yes. So, have you found that you've you've felt like you're at home now in Australia? Sorry. Do you feel like you're at home now in Australia? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so are you um, working with other people or you're in mums groups and things and getting to know lots of Australians? Yeah. I was uh, before in my mums group. Yeah. Right now at home and taking care of baby. Yeah. Right. So are there going to be some more little Australians from your family? Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Not sure. And we're joined with Pete. You're becoming an Australian citizen here today down at the waterfront in Geelong. How long have you been in Australia? Uh, only four and a half years now. So uh, we, we came to Melbourne for uh, six months and then we've been in Geelong ever since. And where were you in the UK? Uh, we were living in North Wales, um, but I'm English, Southern England by born. Um, and yeah, we spent six years in Wales prior to moving out here. So what was the reason to move? Uh, I relocated my company. Right. Um, thankfully, they, they financed a lot of the move out here on a, on a temporary visa. We then took up the permanent residency and then finally citizenship. So what, what's made you decide that you're actually prepared to take the step and become Australian? The main, main reason is, is the children's future. Um, they're going through high school now. They will be wanting to go through university and it's just uh, the flexibility to, 
at least come and go from Australia and we're just very happy we're settled you know fantastic lifestyle yeah, terrific yeah. well we hope you have a wonderful Australia day and congratulations all right thank you thank you yeah. from Geelong waterfront Merrill friend news Geelong thank you Merrill long before the world of dinosaurs there existed the age of Permian monsters which is currently on display at our National Wool Museum in Geelong. The old dinosaur Ian Nichols has more. Well, here we are at the National Wool Museum for the first time this year, and what an exhibition we have. The Permian monsters, way before the dinosaurs. I've learned a lot today, and you will too, if you come down and pay a visit. This exhibition, right through till June 10, it's been extended. And we're talking with the director of the National Wool Museum, Padraig Fisher. First things first, let's say welcome to Geelong, Padraig Fisher. It's our first opportunity to visit the National Wool Museum under your directorship. Well, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure and an honour to be here. It really is. Geelong is a wonderful city. Yeah. Now, yeah, well, I'm just overwhelmed, I guess, by this incredible exhibition called the Permian Monsters. Oh, uh, and it is an overwhelming exhibition and it is a delight to have here. You know, this is the first venue at, anywhere in the world where this exhibition is coming to and we're delighted to be hosting it here for the first time and it is wonderful to see this uh, collection of uh, creatures and fossils from a period uh, not really we very well known uh, in history a uh, time bef well before the dinosaurs a and it's really quite a delight to come in here and actually I come in to this to this gallery a lot and almost every time I come in there's something new that I discover well, yeah, we just don't think of uh, before the dinosaurs. We, there's some perception in the minds of adults anyway. Kids are, are much more savvy to these things, and I guess they are finding this uh, much, uh, much more interesting perhaps than their mums and dads. Oh, absolutely, but I, I will tell you this is very much a whole family experience. Uh, uh, little kids love it, big kids love it, older kids love it, um, and it is, it is quite interesting, and it is quite fascinating to to experience these creatures, you know, 100 million years before the dinosaurs and, and to see where dinosaurs came from and where life on Earth has come from at the moment. So, Well, putting all this together must have been a monumental job. I mean, these are not small creatures, are they? Oh, no, they're not. As a matter of fact, these two here really behind me are, they are monumental. And this, the whole exhibition it was, it was really quite a feat to put together. And uh, that is the creation of Guandana Studios in Tasmania. And uh, I wish I could take credit for putting this all together. Uh, I just get to take credit for our team bringing it here and for hosting it. Well, the good news that we can announce today is that this exhibition will be extended right through till June of this year? That's correct. Originally it was only supposed to be here through March, uh, but uh, through some luck and the goodwill of Guandana Studios, we were able to extend it and it will now be here in the Geelong community through June. At the Permian Monsters exhibition at the National Wool Museum, Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. This is News Geelong, first day of February 2013 as we go to a break and return with more news after this. <laughs> 